The Addams Family is a wonderful hidden gem of a platform game that was developed and published by Ocean in 1992. I actually covered it in my now ancient top 5 non-mainstream SNES games countdown video. I'll link that video in the description below if you're curious. It was released on a variety of systems, but for the purpose of this review I'll be focusing on the Super Nintendo version. As the story goes, the Addams Family's lawyer, Tully Alfred, has taken control of the Addams Family Mansion and captured the entire Addams Family. Well, except for Lurch and the Thing. It's up to you as Gomez to explore every nook and cranny of the mansion to free all of your family members and put an end to the lawyer's dark bidding. The first thing that you may notice about the Addams Family is that the graphics are pretty sweet, along with the excellent soundtrack it helps paint a very unique Addams Family style feel. In a way, this game is sort of Metroidvania-like, as there is no real set way to go about beating you. However, certain bosses in this game give you health upgrades, so it would be in your best interest to get those out of the way first. But in general, the mansion is yours to explore in whatever order you wish to explore it. There are a variety of areas in and surrounding the mansion to explore, such as the conservatory, the kitchen, the games room, the graveyard, and so on. Each area has its own unique boss, as well as an overall look and feel. After defeating a boss, you will receive a password to keep your progress along the way, assuming you don't be it all in one sitting. Along with the exploring theme comes the secrets. There are a ton of secrets and hidden areas to find throughout your playthrough of the Addams Family. Most of them are great and will pump you full of 1-ups, hearts, and special items, which include a sword, a golf ball, a fast set of running shoes, and even a fezzy copter that allows you to fly. How cool is that? Really, this game isn't talked about enough and should be regarded as one of the premier platformers on the SNES. I really adore this game. But even after saying all this, there are some shortcomings. The controls being the biggest. Gomez is very responsive for the most part, but while playing you will notice that they're a bit slippery. This can be frustrating leading to many deaths, which then leads into the difficulty of the Adams family. With the amount of 1-ups that you can attain via secrets and through the money system, the game isn't that hard, but you will likely die and die a lot, especially if you get impatient. This game can be cheap at times with enemy placements, and coupling that with the controls being a bit slippery, it can lead to a bit of a challenge. But hey, if you're looking for a new game to try that's a lot of fun and most importantly cheap, look no further than the creepy and kooky Adams Family.